Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to subscribe to Oracle SCM Cloud Atom feeds from OIC integration. In this example, we are going to consider employee update Atom feed. I have listed down few steps in the approach we use to get the Atom feed from HCM. First and the foremost thing is we need to create HCM adapter in order to create OIC integration. For the audience who are creating HCM Cloud adapter for the first time, here is the documentation. I will provide the link in my blog. Please check out the link for more details. Coming to create SCM Cloud Adapter connection, there are topics like what are the prerequisites before configuring the connection in OIC, how to upload SSL certificate, how to refresh integration metadata, and also how you can consume this connection within your integration canvas. All those things are listed over here. So once we are done with creating the HCM Cloud Adapter, our next thing is creating OIC integration. Here I am considering the scheduled integration. In the same documentation for SCM Cloud Adapter, if you come to this fourth point that is how to implement common patterns using OIC SCM Cloud Adapter. There is this section that is subscribe to Atom Feeds in Scheduled Integration. I have used same steps in order to build my OIC integration and you also can follow the same. Here is the short description. Atom Feeds will enable you to track the changes made to feed enabled resources considering the example of employee update Atom Feed for my video. You can go through this documentation if you are stuck anywhere while building the integration. So this is the integration employee atom feed int which I have created for this use case. Let me open this and walk through the integration. The first thing is in the scheduled parameters, we need to create a parameter. That is this atom last feed runtime. Here we will update the last timestamp when the integration has run. We are going to map this to atom feed mapping. I'll close this. So next is the assign activity. I'm going to populate the timestamp. File reference I have created but I have not used anywhere so this you can ignore. Timestamp I am populating the scheduled time of this integration in this variable. Again all the details are documented in this page. You can go through this document for more details. So the next thing is we have to get the atom feed. Let me open the wizard for this. Here I am making use of SC adapter. We have to select this subscribe to changes made to feed enabled resources in Oracle SCM Cloud. That is subscribe to updates via atom feed this option. As it is shown in this document that is query create update, subscribe to Atom, bulk extract data, send files to SCM and import bulk data using HCM data load. So we are selecting this option. So in the next step in the wizard, as I told, I am interested in employee update Atom feed. So we have to select this employee new hire Atom feed and the maximum entries to process 50. If you want more, uh, you can pull more number of entries in each execution. So whether to process future dated entries immediately include business objects in atom feed I have not selected this if you want you can select for more details you can read the documentation over here so in the next uh, it will highlight uh, the things which are configured in this wizard i'm closing this let me show you the mapping for this here we are mapping it to scheduled parameter which we created initial stage so when this is run at the first time then the default value whatever we have set will be picked from that particular timestamp all the employee updates it will fetch consecutive schedules okay this will be updated every time when the integration runs so the integration will map to the timestamp when it was last run suppose if there are no records or no employee were hired or no update has been done then it will go to otherwise case and it will stop execution in case if there are hires like i am counting the employee new hire feed update this element is from the response of that atom feed what i am checking over here and if it count is greater than zero then what I'm doing is I'm writing that details to a file in a, using a stage activity. Let me show you the right stage activity over here. You provide some CSV file name and the directory and you have to select this append to existing file. All these things are documented in this page. Click on next. And we, here we have to upload the sample CSV file. I will show you how it looks. So the CSV file with which we have configured that stage write activity is this one. I will provide the CSV sample CSV file in my blog. Please check out the blog for more details. Coming to mapping, as we had selected process 50 records in each item feed execution, I'm running this for loop over here for this employee new hire feed update. This element will contain multiple employee records. So that I'm looping over here and assigning the employee ID, person ID to person ID, name to name, all those things for CSV file. Once it completes writing all the details to a file, then we are writing that file to FTP directory. Suppose in case if you are not looping over this element within XSLT, then what you have to do is as mentioned in this document, you have to create the for loop okay, like this. 
and then you have to loop from this for loop each employee record and write to the file. For that purpose, Oracle has told to select this append to file checkbox over here. So that's the part uh, I have just deviated from this documentation. Rest everything uh, remains same. So once it has written the file to FTP server, I'm updating the scheduled parameter over here in this. That is by assigning the timestamp to atom feed date time. This is the scheduled parameter. Let's now test this integration. On manually scheduling, as we are scheduling for the first time, the current value is null, only default value is showing. I'm not giving any value as of now and clicking on submit. We have got the tracking ID. We'll track if it is completed. As you could see, the status is showing as succeeded. Let's check the activity. Yeah, it has written the records. There were records. Now, what happens when we trigger this integration for the second time? Let's check. I have not created any uh, employee record in SCM Cloud or neither I have updated any employee record. So when we try to schedule this for the second time, if you observe this current value, it's showing last timestamp when this integration has run. Now, if I submit, it should go into otherwise case. This has completed the execution. Let's check the flow. Yeah, as I told, this has gone to otherwise case and uh, terminated the execution. So like this, we can subscribe to Atom feed with the help of OIC integration and we, we can pull the details for our employee or any other Atom feeds. Now we'll see what it has written to a file in FTP. I have opened the CSV file which it has written to SFTP server. As you could see, we are having the details for the employee which were created or updated. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel and thank you for joining us.